Okay, flies. I have done just about all I can do. Let me show you. I even brought the water hoses in. Bought them in. Like that's going to stop the wind from blowing away. But, you know, you do what you can. Turn the wheelbarrow and wagon buggy upside down. Um, while I'm out here, let me show you. I did see a couple of bird house gourds growing, but I don't know if they're going to last. There's a baby one right there. Oh, here's one right here. Um, yeah, look how my persimmon tree in the middle is swinging. I don't know. And um, I took off two of the tomatoes that were on here, cut off that piece that I broke. I intertwined the tomato bushes. I gotta do this one. Um, into the cattle panel. I really don't like touching tomato plants with my bare hands because they make me itch. But, yeah. Um, I cut some corn. My eggplants, I put these on the eggplants. I don't know how long they're going to stay, but you see I got the eggplants. These are the Rosa Bianca. <sighs> I put the passion flower tree up there um as far as melons and squash ain't nothing you could do um we'll see what happens see those ominous clouds coming in they're coming in and i see still here Stino over there um yeah all i can do is stick the tomato plants inside the cages I laid stuff down that would fly away. Just laid it down, let it roll. Um, I got to get my generator out the shed. I have some in the house, but I'm going to get this one out, have all the generators, and start start charging it some more in the house till it gets to the hunt to a hundred. Um, it's about fifty percent. The one. Telemarketers, sorry. So. Let me show you the rest of the backyard. I took all of the pillows and everything, put it in the big shed over there. Um, took all the lights. Let me show you what I did with the lights. I put them um, in here. See, I picked some corn. Uh, put them in there. And I have a little cubby hole right here. Put my remotes in there. Um, still got to cover up the TV. Um, yeah, just moving stuff around. Cover the barbecue. The chicks had actually been inside the coop, and now they're looking at all the stuff I put on the side here. Hey, chicky poos. One of them is like, I ain't leaving this coop, but they've mostly been huddled up in the coop. Um, if they go back inside the coop, once I go in the house, I'll shut up the coop. The coop. This is the first time, but they see that I put all this stuff over here. And they run. They're such babies. They run. Um, I put all of the wood and stuff in here. Tools in here. Everything in here. And I'm going to lock that up. This is super juice. We're gonna move the super ju juice. They love doing circles in the street. It bothers me because they're gonna. One night I did hear a car run into a wall across the street, drunk. That's why I moved out the way real quick because if they run into the wall, I don't wanna be by it. Anyway, let me go back. That's my watch going off. Super juice. Um, all this is clean. I had an old little bale of hay right here. It was it was gone. I threw it away. Have you ever seen it look this clean? The chicks are here. I gotta clean that off. I always clean it off. One chick jumps on top of the coop. If they say chick chickens can't fly, that's a lie. Jumps on top to the highest point and poops and does everything. 
I filled up their food. I filled up all their water. I left some out here, but yeah, that water is filled to the brim. They've mostly been huddled on this side of the coop and they're going back in. I'm just kind of watching them. When it starts getting real bad, I will go and um, lock them up in there. But yeah, I pulled a couple of banana peppers, like three banana peppers, a regular bell pepper, um, three tomatoes, those corn, the corn is gonna be gone. So just let me give you a hint for new gardeners. Let me show you. And they're real little. When the husk, when the silk dies off, it's time to pull. So I pulled the ones that had the dying silk. But yeah, just bringing everything in as much as I can. Stuff is going to fly. I mean, it's not much I can do. Um, once I get the TV covered up, I'm going in the house. That actually feels pretty good out here compared to it being 100 freaking degrees for the last couple of weeks. And I mean weeks. Um, it feels mighty good out here, so I'm kind of enjoying it. Um, but I know I can't stay. Um, I'm really just concerned about my trees and I can see them breaking. As far as the garden, I got seeds I can always replant. Um, I put my blueberry plants in here. I put them in this shed. I put my blueberry plants right there. I have that window cracked just for a little circulation in the fan and it's a mess in here. But yeah, I'm going to lock this up. And um, I've done all I can do. <sighs> My poor garden hadn't had a storm like this in almost 100 years. And the trajectory of it when I saw it last night, it was like going to hit like Palm Springs, Los Angeles, and we're right in the trajectory of that in the Inland Empire. Um, I don't know if it's going to hit more of Northern California, but it may hit some of Arizona and definitely some of Vegas. It's in that Nevada. I always say Vegas, but the state is Nevada. Um, might hit some of that. But um, we'll see. Trees are pretty tough, but we'll see. The corn, the, the corn is going to be trash. It was already leaning and stuff. And, um, yeah, that tree should probably be okay, I'm hoping, because it's been there um, over a year and a half. So it's rooted. Hopefully it won't break on top. But these smaller ones that I just had planted on uh, Thursday, I am concerned about. And, of course, I, you know, you want to get food. You want to get food. I didn't show you the other squash that I had right here. You want, I want to get food, but if I can't grow it right now, oh, I see a strawberry. Then um, get the strawberry when I can. Ooh, you're fully red. Thank you, thank you. Terminix come out. He asked if I had seen any rodent or squirrel problems. And he said one of the boxes, all of the poison was almost gone. So something took it and it's probably dead and gave it to his family because I have not seen any bites or anything like that on my food because I got melons over here I got squash oh I cut cucumbers I had two full I had three cucumbers I got cucumbers um, my cucumber plants were just starting to grow back good you know because never I planted everything late don't plant late if I would have had this stuff in the ground in the end of March, beginning of April would have been better, better, but I just really didn't have the energy at all. Um, I hope I don't have these pomegranates because my pomegranates were starting to come in good. Yeah, they, they're not ready to be picked yet. They're not fully ready. That's a baby one. It's one here on here see they're not ready they are not ready yet see and I had some back here even my almonds aren't ready yet let me show you she's not ready yet look at that 
I had a couple. Ooh. Don't get stuff in my eyes. Hopefully it'll be okay. But um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this cover this TV and um, leave the rest up to Jehovah God and His Son Jesus and His King. His son, Jesus in heaven. So, it's going to be sad to let all these plants go. But you know what? I got a little food off of them. And I'm more concerned about the trees. Because the trees, the garden is just for every season. The trees last for decades. So, anyway, I'll keep you guys in the loop as to what's going on. Um, let me go get this generator, cover the TV up, and then I'm going in the house. I'm going to take me a nice hot shower and put on some sweats and some jammies and just chill. This is not much else to do. All right. Bye. Yep, they're back in the coop. <laughs>